starting with Tiger Brands, which manufactures, processes and distributes food products, which include milling and baking, confectionaries, general foods, edible oils and derivatives. It is a market cap of 59.1 billion rand, a P ratio of 16.9 and a dividend of 3%. Now that P ratio has come down because the share price shot up all the way. I think it maybe even crested 400 rand at one point. It's back down closer to 300. It's been quite a volatile ride. And Nigeria yeah, has been the, the sore point in the Tiger Brand story. Yeah, I think these guys got a blood nose up, up there in Africa. They did the acquisition, I think, about 18 months back, if I'm correct. Um, they certainly, there was some strange books uh, around there. And I think a few strange practices in Nigeria. I mean, they written off the entire uh, value of what they paid. I think so. In the latest numbers, I think they're written off again 900 million or close to a billion. And the previous time, they also written off a few billion on there as well. Um, I think the strategy that Tiger Brands took is a bit different from the other guys. So you talked about the Africa strategy. These guys were first movers on, and on that front on the food producer side in South Africa. And they started acquiring companies on that front. So the guys know local taste. They know a few other things than just shipping your, your, your product over there as well, which I think Tiger Brands is doing the long term mm -hmm. right thing. It's not paid off on them, for them as yet. Uh, they certainly need to get the Dangote one right in, in Nigeria. It's too soon to tell if they're going to get it right or not. The company used to make nice profits and they probably can get it back to, to where it was. It's got good management. Um, and I think it's for the first time actually looking like a bit of uh, value at a 16p. It was at a 21p about six months back. Let's look at the share price. So talk us through this uh, share price uh, graph. Uh, Byron, you want to come in here mm. as well? Mm. So that's obviously, we saw the dip in 2014. That's when the Nigerian news started hitting the market that, you know, this acquisition is turning a bit sour. I wouldn't, I mean... I, I agree with Cabrant. I think it's the right move. You know, it's extremely difficult to transport, manufacture in South Africa and then transport the stuff all the way through Africa. Roads are terrible. You know, uh, petrol prices are high. It's difficult. Rather make it there and sell it to those consumers. So then we saw a pickup as uh, the, the consumer started showing signs of strength as we saw through the numbers. And then we saw it drop again. Um, the sort of rhetoric I heard, there was a big investor meeting in Sun City and the CFO was speaking and didn't, wasn't really clear about what's happening in Nigeria and didn't clarify to investors how it's going and, you know, what exactly, how the turnaround strategy is going. Because, you know, they came in there, they brought in all their own people and they said, now you've got to work under our rules. Well, maybe that was the wrong uh, how way How patient to go. is the market going to be on uh, Tiger Brands and their potential restructure? Oh, look, I, I think if you look at the other P's that we're going to discuss later on, you can see that the market didn't like this whole story. Uh, that's why it's back at 300 and it's almost done nothing for four or five years now. Uh, it's, it's, it certainly lacked the market. Uh, if it's the right choice, we'll have to wait and see. What I think is uh, up, up in Africa, people want different packaging. They want different tastes. It's not just a South African duplication of, of your product here and selling it there. And I think that's, that's the right strategy that they actually take. That's an attitude taking South Africa and saying, listen, yeah, we've got Yeah, some of the other solutions. guys are doing that and riding on the backs of shop rights and the like and taking their product that side. Um, I just think the more successful one is going to be the one that's taking the, 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 the countries at, at, at on their own and, and actually acquiring like Tiger Brands has been doing. Hot mm. or not? I'm, I'm hot on Tiger. I really like the business. I think, uh, like Habrant mentions, I think it is a good buying opportunity. I think they'll be able to turn Nigeria around. You know, when MTN originally went to Nigeria, people had, were extremely skeptical. I think if they've gone about it or, or by going via acquisition and buying an established business is the right way to go. Um, and I think, you know, there's a lot of potential upside for this business. Habrant? Yeah, look, I think where the valuation are now, we're certainly starting to look at it. And, and I think it's starting to get hot at the moment. So. Um, Hot it had 25 percent earnings growth in the second half if you strip out Dengoti. Mm. Well, there we go. I think that that sums it up.